Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Thomas Park. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about this cool new app called Beeper. Uh, it's invite only, um, but I think it has potential to be one of the best chat apps out there. The cool thing about Beeper is that you can pretty much use any messaging application in it, whether you want to use iMessage, Discord, Signal, um, Slack, Instagram message for some reason if you wanted to. It has a ton of different app integrations. And the cool part is it's open source, securely encrypted, and hey guys, just as a reminder, this channel does no sponsored segments. This video is not sponsored by Beeper and I've had no contact with the company. That said, if you do like videos like these and you want to help support the channel, feel free to do so. I'm going to be putting some of my favorite products in the description down below. I would encourage you to check out something like Incogni. Code Tom Spark will get you 10% off. This is a service that will remove your IRL information from data brokers so you don't get doxxed. Additionally, you might want to check out a service called Goms Go or check out vpnterialist.com to check out some of my VPN rankings. As a reminder, we're only one of the channels out there that has no YouTube monetization, no any form of monetization that you might find with a lot of YouTube creators, like begging you to sign up for our Patreon, signing up for our Discord to get exclusive benefits. If you join the Discord in here, you get emojis, rolls, and everything without needing to pay for it. So guys, let's get into that. Uh, first impressions of Beeper. And it uses like, I'm pretty sure it uses the chat protocol matrix. So you can even use it with matrix communities, which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. Not only that, but you could even self host your own instance of Beeper if you want to. Um, right now it is free. I'm using like a, like the, I think it's just like the free trial kind of like period. Um, it's like invite only, but for now it's free, but eventually I guess it will be paid. Um, but I guess if you wanted to self host it, which is cool, another benefit. The cool thing is desktop app, phone app as well. Um, we sell optional paid subscriptions, so that's how they make money. So clear and transparent pricing model. And it, it's pretty good. It seems pretty good though. So, you know, what do I think of it? What are the cons? Well, this is what it looks like. Um, it's pretty basic looking. You have your different applications down here. Um, I kind of desynchronized all my different uh, networks because I didn't want to dox myself with all these messages. Um, but as you can see here, it's very easy to add different things. You just pretty much connect it click start uh, it's even easy on iMessage as well if you want to use that signal is also pretty easy so yeah it just works very easily with these direct connections so there's no problems there now if you go into the settings you can also see your name your matrix ID um, you can go to the settings as well and you could change it to whatever appearance you want it to be so you could be light mode um, damn it it keeps taking me there this uh, interface right here looks kind of like Facebook chat or something like that um, although I don't really use that, but I know that's what it looks like. Um, you can also do video and voice calls. I think it will kind of just synchronize it with whatever, um, you know, application you're using. So overall pretty cool. Um, this is kind of what the app looks like when you're receiving messages and you can, um, even talk to their little AI to get help, sign in pretty easily. Usually it's just scanning a QR code. Um, so that's pretty much what it looks like. What are my cons with this application? Well, for some reason, I'm not a huge fan of the interface and I can't really figure out exactly why. I think for me, it, it has something to do with the width of it. I can't really figure out if you could make it smaller. I, I guess you can, you could just kind of do that and then it kind of get, gets rid of it. But then if you want to look at the message, it's still kind of cut off. Uh, it feels like the interface is a little bit underbaked, at least in my opinion. It's pretty easy to chat and stuff like that. But for some reason, I find the collection of messages a little bit, uh, it's kind of hard to differentiate between these different conversations sometimes. That's kind of like my main issue with the application. Um, it's just like, I don't know if I like using it as much as each individual application. It's not quite as user-friendly, something like, uh, well, at least visually appealing. I think it is very user-friendly. I just don't know if it's as visually appealing as something like Signal or Discord or some of the other applications out there. Now, one of the huge pros, of course, is that multi-platform compatibility. And the fact you could use iMessage on a PC, for example, is really cool. But for me, I still think the visual kind of nature of the messages and stuff, I think still needs some work. 
I don't think you can increase the size of the font. That might make it feel a little bit better, um, but I don't believe that's an option, at least from what I've been able to find. Um, so that's something to think about. The good news is this application is still in development right now. It's only in beta. So there's plenty of time for them to kind of improve some of those things, especially with the GUI. So that's something I'm looking forward to. Um, but are there any other cons? Well, I mean, one con could be that it looks like it's generally going to be a paid um, kind of subscription, which is not the best, but you know, at least you are ensured that they're not selling money on your data. So that is a good thing. And also if you want to self host your own instance of it, that's another huge plus. So overall, one of my final impressions of Beeper being a early user of the application, well, I think it has some really good pros um, and not too many cons. The pros are that it works with pretty much every chat app you want. Um, it's open source, it's securely encrypted. The company seems pretty honest and transparent with its business model. And some of the cons are that I do think the interface does need a little bit of work to be more visually appealing. Anyways, guys, thanks for checking out this one and I'll see you again in the next video very soon.